guys seriously i have been dropping some absolute bangers on this particular channel so definitely use this channel as a resource today's video is going to be no exception another banger in store for you guys so the title of this video is the sumo well i, might, I don't even know what i'm going to title this video because it's just going to be so friggin in depth but long story short guys the sooner you do this for your agency the better it doesn't even matter if you've got an agency consulting business coaching business the sooner you do what i'm about to show you in your business the sooner you're going to blow up this is exactly the same strategy, right? That I've been talking about, the kind of like the hybrid system. But I'm gonna show it you in depth. And I'm gonna actually break down like a, candid a candidate versus another candidate. One person versus another, and show you how one person can exponentially kind of like scale their agency or their coaching business versus somebody who listens to kind of like the typical guru teaching. I'm just gonna show you and lay it down to you mathematically so you can actually see. So we're actually gonna jump straight into my computer. Honestly guys, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe for this one, because this is some real in-depth stuff. So first and foremost, let's jump onto my computer. Okay, just real quick guys, a quick plug. Just because I want to make sure that everybody knows, a tramitation is going up to seven hundred and ninety-seven dollars USD. That is, by the way, on the twenty-eighth of June, two thousand twenty-two. So it's actually currently five ninety-seven. So if you want to enroll into that, I highly, 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 highly recommend doing that. The reason for that is because you're going to see exactly what kind of like what what sort of route you're going to go down if you don't, and what sort of route you could be going down if you do. And that's not even like just trying to like hype up my stuff. I'm literally just going to break this down mathematically and to show you and guide you. I am not even here to kind of like sell or persuade anyone. In fact, I actually, I'm, I'm actually convinced at this point that you physically can't sell, sell somebody on something. They either always was going to buy something or they either weren't going to buy something. You just have to, as, as kind of like a, a salesperson for like your agency when you're doing sales, you just guide the person down the right path. So if you do want to enroll in a transportation, do that. I, it's gonna be. This is the cheapest it will ever, ever, ever actually be. So, real quick, first and foremost, right? We need to establish an, a, a fact right now. This is irrefutable, irrefutable fact. The more outreach you do, the more clients you're going to get. There, there, there's no argument with that. Everybody knows this. If anybody tries to tell you anything over, over than this, it's absolutely BS. And the reason for that is because the more outreach you do, the more conversations you're gonna have. Just by the law of averages. The more conversations you have, the more sales calls you're gonna, you, you're gonna have. The more sales calls you have, the more clients you're going to get. So if you want more clients, you need to do more outreach. It's very simple to understand, but it's hard to put into practice in, in reality, if you will. Now let's break this down logically and with maths, basically. I, I, I really like, me, I'm kind of, the, the way how you would explain me is an epistivist. An epistivist, if you actually Google the definition, is somebody who does not rely on faith um, to basically come to conclusions, if you will. It's kind of a religious kind of like thingy magic, but long story short, what I'm trying to say here is that I take that same principle and put it into my business. I am not relying on faith to scale my business anymore. This is how I literally quote unquote blew up overnight and whatnot. And you know, being able to now scale to literally like 30K per month British pounds and stuff like that. So I took all the faith out of it and just relied on science and mathematical numbers, if you will. So let's break this down logically and with maths. So let's take let's let's say we take two candidates. We've got Bob and we've got a guy called Mike, right? They're both brand new agency owners offering Facebook ads to econ brands, you know, the usual stuff basically. Blah de blah de blah. Now what I want you to do is just pretend just do this is a hypothetical scenario, obviously. But let's say they're both offering the same offer. They've got the same niche, they're in the same location, they've got the same script, same level of experience, same level of personalization in their emails. In fact, let's actually make them, just to take this to the umph degree, if you will, let's pretend that these dudes are literally identical twins. Just that they've got a different agency name. That, that's, that's all that's different. But they're both the exact same person. If you the exact same life experience, exact same sales experience, exact same outreach experience, exact same script, niche, offer. So let's say they both, right, have a 1% uh, meeting book rate. That basically means for every 100 emails they send, they're gonna land one meeting, right? This is, this is by the way, these are good numbers. 1% meeting book rate is actually genuinely a good number. If you can get anything over a 1% meeting book rate, I am not even joking, you're killing it. Like literally scale that, scale, find a way to scale that, which, you know, watch this video and I'll show you exactly how you scale that. So basically, let's also say that they both have a one in 10 close rate. So every 100 emails they send, they get one meeting but they need 10 meetings in order to close one client because they've got a one in 10 close rate. So that basically means every 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 10 meetings they have, they typically turn out one client from that. They close one type client from that. I'm being harsh with the numbers here, but I just wanna prove my point basically. So that basically means they need to do 10 sales calls in order to land one client. Very simple math so far, right? Hopefully you're following me along. If not, go, go back and re like rewatch this. Now to keep things simple, 
I'm not gonna kind of like include the no show rate, but by the way, because obviously when you're in SMA, you're gonna book meetings and then sometimes clients are not gonna turn up and prospects are not gonna turn up. Again, another thing that these gurus don't tell you, but I'm, I'm just giving you to the, the real raw facts. You will book meetings, it will be difficult, you need to do lots of outreach, and even when you do get somebody on your calendar, sometimes they might not turn up. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. So they both need to do, right? If you actually do the maths, they both need to send 1,000 emails to land one client each. It's the exact same numbers here, guys. And now, just to give you a bit of context, it, it actually took me, right, eight entire months and 16, 1,600 emails to land in my first ever e-com client. I am not even joking. I know that sounds like a lot, but technically it actually isn't. I'm actually gonna show you show, show, show you why in a second. But let's, let us let me give you a hypothetical, hypothetical scenario real quick, just real quick. So, who's gonna win this game, right? Who's gonna, who's gonna, first of all, it doesn't even matter what goal you set. It could be to get to 10, from zero to 10K, or zero to the first client, zero to 20K, it doesn't even matter. I just wanna break this down, right? Who's going to win this game at the end, right? And get to the money the quickest? Is it going to be Bob, who's doing 25 outreach per day? Or is it going to be Mike, that's doing 100 outreach per day? And again, this is factoring in that they both got the same niche, the same level of personalization going out in their emails, the same email script, the same templates, the same life experience, the same time they're even sending their emails, the same everything. The only difference is that Bob is sending 25 emails a day and Mike's sending 100 emails per day. Who is going to win that race and get to 10K per month faster? Well, the obvious answer is going to be Mike, obviously, because he's doing 4X the amount of outreach um, than Bob is. Bob will close one client every 40 days if you actually do the maths. Um, and Mike will actually close one client every 10 days. So Mike will actually get to, for example, 10K per month faster, for 4X sooner, should I say, or he will get to his first client 4X sooner. Now, the next problem you run into, obviously we understand this. That's not that, that's simple maths. A two-year-old can understand that, right? And if a guru is trying to sell you on some, some, some BS, obviously, by the way, we're obviously personalizing these emails as well. Bob and Mike are doing the same level of personalization. So I don't want that one guy in the comment section saying, well, it depends on how, how personalized Bob emails are. No, they're the same level of personalization, same script, same offer, same niche, same everything. These dudes are identical twins, literally. So I don't want that dude in the comment sections being like, oh, it just depends on the experience level or it depends on this. No, we're not doing that right now. So it's the same script. Now, the next problem is though, that you'll figure out. So obviously you, you now know, obviously it's, it's very clear to you now that Doing more outreach equals more clients. The next problem you're going to run into is that you're going to think to yourself in your head, like, how on earth am I going to do 100 emails per day? Because, they, because honestly, if, if you think about it, there's no way in hell, right, one single dude can handle 100 emails per day, every single day for 30 days straight. I am not even joking. Try, try it. Come back. And I'm talking about actual real levels of personalization, not those dinky AI bots that kind of like do your do your personalization for you, but it's not really personalization because you can tell kind of like straight away that it's not real levels of personalization. Um, so most people, and the funny thing is, most people can't even most people right can't even brush their teeth for 30 days straight. Never mind do 100 outreach per day every single day for 30 days straight without missing a single day. Now, this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the bottleneck. You become your own bottleneck within your business because you're trying to do all the outreach yourself. I'll repeat that. You are your own problem in your business because you are trying to do all the lead sourcing, prospecting, first line writing, aka personalization, and the outreach yourself, and you're becoming your own bottleneck because you, there's only 24 hours in a day, and there's only a limit. There's a, there's a limit to how much a man can do or a woman can do, the amount of outreach you can do per day because there's 24 hours in a day. So the solution to this is to build a team of virtual assistants or to hire people basically in layman's terms. Now the next problem after this is that like, okay, cool, I understand that the more outreach I do, the more clients I get, but how on earth do I go about doing lo loads of outreach? Well, you need a team. But then the next problem you're gonna be like, is like you're gonna run into is be like, okay, cool, I understand that, but how on earth am I gonna hire a team if I can't afford to hire a team? So the solution is to is, is, is this, it's the hybrid system. Leverage a warmer traffic source, right? This is, I, I, I'm, I'm getting super passionate about this because obviously this is literally the thing that changed my entire life. So if you can understand this, honestly guys, it's, it's almost like a cheat code. This is why I keep going on about it. So what you want to do is you want to leverage a warmer traffic source such as Upwork or some freelance website, or you can even use Facebook groups if you've got like a really warm audience in like a Facebook group, for example. So if you don't, if you can't use Upwork, you can leverage like Facebook groups and stuff like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to start building up cash flow by kind of like, uh, closing like small ticket clients if you're using Upwork or just clients in general if you're using like a warmer traffic source. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that cash flow and you're going to invest it into hiring this outreach team that can actually do 100 outreach for you per day. Now, here's why this strategy here that I've just talked to you right there is always, 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 always going to win. You cannot physically beat this. In fact, I actually challenged somebody, right? 
I will put one student in a brand new, we'll take two, we'll take two students, we'll put one of them inside the intro meditation, one of them inside of the gurus programs, right? In fact, that's what I'm gonna show you right here. And I'm, I'm actually, in fact, I'm actually gonna break this down logically and mathematically and, and show you why this will always win. But let's say you take one student, put them into intro meditation, put another student into another gurus program, my, my student will always win to get to 10K the quickest, fastest. I, and the reason for that is because of this right here. Here's why this will always win. So let's say, right, Bob, the candidate, candidate one, if you want, whatever you want to call him, Bob. So let's say Bob follows the rest of the gurus, right? And starts with cold emails trying to land econ brands. Firstly, here's a problem. Here's a problem already. For Bob to even set up his email domain, sometimes you have to wait up to 48 hours to set up your domain records. So your DNX, so for example, and the reason for that is because you have to set up your SPF record, DKIM record, and your DMARC record. Some of, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back on my channel, you, 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 you'll you understand, or just Google these things. Some of these are, what, and by the way, you set these up by changing what you call DNS settings, and DNS settings sometimes can take up to 48 hours to propagate. Now that basically means two days are just gone already. You're not, you're not even doing, from, from day one, to, from, from the Overguru student, Two days are gone already. Two days of outreach are gone already. By the way, I've had students come into my program and on day two close 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 a fifteen hundred dollar client, literally. So whilst the other du dudes kind of like student, the other guru student, is messing about trying to get his DNS record set up and propagating pro propagated, should I say, my students have already closing are already closing clients in two days. You see what I'm trying to say? They're, they're, fa they're faffing about with with cold email, cold email, trying to set up emails. And if you're not if you're not doing that, you're doing like like uh, Instagram outreach and stuff like that. The lead sourcing still takes ages. There you go. Yeah, either, either way you slice it, my student's gonna win. There, there. And, and let me actually break this down even further. So, not not only does the actual person have to wait 48 hours, so Bob has to wait 48 hours to, for his um, DNS settings to propagate, he then, after he's waited you know, 48 hours, he then needs to warm up his email for at least 14 days straight. Now, I'm not even joking. You actually genuinely need to make sure, even Lemlist themselves say this, that you need to at least warm up your email for a, a set period amount of time. And I believe the actual, yeah, it's actually 14 days that Lemlist actually recommends you actually warm up your email for using Lemwarm, which is an inbuilt feature. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me mention this on my channel. So let's let's put that in total. Let, let's actually put this into context. That's literally 16 days just gone of a person just messing around, fiddling with email DNS settings and trying to warm up an email before they've even set up an email. They've gone 16 days in to their journey that's half a month without even without even sending a single email yet. Because all they've done is set up, bought the domain, set it up, warmed up the domain, not even send an email yet. And this that's 16 days worth of like of work you could actually be doing. Like literally. So let's then say Bob starts actually sending out 25 emails a day. I don't know how he by the way, I had literally somebody tell me they did um was it it was a 15 outreach and it took them 10 hours so i'm just going to give bob the benefit of doubt when you say he's got like a really really good system to crank out 25 emails a day if you guys know how long that takes you guys are probably like i don't even know if that's possible to be honest with you but let's say that takes him anywhere between 10 to 20 email 20 minutes per email um because he has to do all the lead sourcing prospect in the first line writing himself no joke honestly guys like like i'm not even joking like most people in the in, in like the, the guru space, if you will, that's kind of like got an online program or anything like that inside of the SMA space, are still teaching the old house algorithm hop, or they're teaching to go and buy leads from like a really cranky like place where they're already like oversaturated. So it's it's very very slow, especially the Instagram algorithm hop. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Where you go to Instagram, you find like an initial business kind of like perfect. You then click on the little drop down on Instagram, and it recommends you other brands that look similar to the econ brand that you're looking at. Very very slow. If my grandma knew how to build an SMA, that's the method she'd probably be using. No offense, grandma, love you if you're watching this. So let's say right, it takes about on average about 15 minutes per email. That's 375 minutes of work per day. That's 6.25 hours that this Bob has to kind of like put in. Now, on day, so we're gonna give each of these 40 days kind of like um, uh, outreach each, but basically because Bob's been messing about for 16 days, we have to give him an additional friggin' 16 days. So on day 56, right, um, that, which is 40 days worth of outreach, he's gonna land one, let's say he lands one high ticket client for 2,500, that's very, very standard, um, you know, very good, you know, pr good price to aim for your first client on a three month minimum. So that basically means he's worked 15,000 minutes, which is 250 hours worth of work. Um, and he's made back, a he's made back in revenue, uh, 7,500, right? So he's, he's, you know, take the 20, 2,500 that he's making per month, times that by three, 7,500 he's making. Now let's say he outsourced that, he finds a nice outsourcer, a media buyer, $500 per month, which technically they're a little bit more expensive than that, but we're gonna give him the benefit of that and be really kind to, to, to Bob right here, just to, to, to even to prove my point even further. Even when the numbers are kind, you're still gonna lose, basically, put it that way. So $1,500 he's gonna pay in total, 500, 
dollars times three. The last time I checked was fifteen hundred for sure. Um, so the net profit of that is going to be six thousand dollars net profit. Now, if you work out how much Bob's actually working uh, or making per hour, we're looking at six thousand uh, uh, US dollars divided by two hundred fifty hours. That's twenty four hours, twenty four dollars an hour he's actually making. Now, let's say on the other hand, Mike decides to take a different route. He decides to listen to good old Uncle Montel, if you will. Don't call me Uncle, that's terrible. Uh, but long story short, let's say Mike's much smaller. Instead of diving straight into cold email, he starts using a warmer traffic source like Upwork. He then is going to spend one day setting up his account, by the way. It only takes about three to four hours to set up your actual account, but I'm being harsh. Maybe call it five hours to set up your account, but I'm going to be harsh and say it's going to take him an entire day to set up his account if he actually sits down and does it properly. He then starts doing outreach. Uh, I'm actually even going to make him do less outreach. Take, take a look at this. Um, he then starts doing 20 outreach a day, um, outreach every single day. So he's doing 20, 20 outreach per day on Upwork every single day, and he starts that on his second day, so day two, because uh, he, he spent the first day messing about, not getting his account up and running. But long story short, 20 outreach per day on Upwork takes you about 60 minutes because there's no lead sourcing, there's no prospecting, you don't have to go and find leads, they're all there for you. Now, by the way, I actually can show you a student, I'll probably, I'll probably have to throw it up on the screen, but here's a student that basically went from zero to 2K in two weeks. So by the time, right, by the time Bob's done 16 days in just setting up his email, I've had students go from zero to 2K per month. I've literally had students do um, zero to 2.6K in three days, literally three days. So this is not flukes. I've had students do um, zero to 1.5K, literally 1.5K per, uh, 1.5K um, payment come through in three, uh, in, was it two days? Yeah, it was two days, something like that. I'll probably throw, the, throw those on, on the screen. I get my video edits, throw them on the screen. So long story short, right? By the time Bob is messed about with his email, getting everything set up, he could have at least closed like two to three clients like my students have done. That's proof in the pudding right there. Actually, it only took me, tip, like literally me, by myself, by the way, it only took me 15 days of doing Upwork Outreach when I first started, when I was completely brand new, to land me my first ever client for $600 for three months, plus I upsold them for $500 on the very first day. It's $2,300 right there. And that's even before Bob has even been able to send a single email out because he's messing about with his DNS settings, warming up his email. Anyway, let's say uh, Mike continues to use Upwork for 40 days, right? So that basically means, and by the way, these are these are, these are kind of like harsh numbers. I'm looking at about 144 messages, 144 outreach, you probably land a client. I'll call it 150, but I'm just gonna add on a little bit more. So every 160 outreach uh, Mike does, he lands a small ticket client for like $700 revenue um, client on a free month minimum. So that's $2,100. So Mike's doing 20 outreach a day. If he times that by 40, that's 800 outreach in, in, um, in 40 days. That basically means, right, he's, he's, he's gonna work 40 hours. He's gonna work 40 hours in total of just doing, doing outreach. 40 hours versus 250 hours, which is obviously much quicker. So let's actually, let's actually break down how many clients he can actually get in that day, in, in that particular amount of outreach, should I say. So he's done 800 outreach. If you divide that by 160, which is the amount of out outreach he needs to do to land one client, we're actually coming out of about five clients. So whilst Bob has closed one client, Mike comes along and closes five clients at $700 per month um, times three. That's literally 10 grand he's made in revenue in total over a three month period, obviously over a three month period if he retains those particular clients. Um, now, he outsources the work for $100 per month per client. The reason for that is because he's only doing social media management right now. Right now. So that's, that's $1,500 right there. Now, if we work out the connect cost as well, so obviously it cost connects to apply to, to, to upward jobs. We're looking at around 18 cents, right, per job. That's including VAT, so that's the absolute max, max price it's gonna cost. Plus we're gonna factor in and be super harsh and we're just gonna pretend the old jobs cost six connects, when, which they don't. Some jobs cost one, two, three, four, five, six connects. By the way, I'm not affiliated with Upwork, by the way. So long story short, we're looking at about um, $1.08 for one job, to apply to one job. If, we, if he's doing 10 jobs a day, that's obviously $10.80 he's actually gonna spend per day. Now, if you, if you actually do the one dot, so this, this is how much it costs to apply to one job, $1.08. If we do eight times that by 800, he's going to spend $864 in total on Upwork Connects. By the way, just real quick, I'm pretty sure I broke this down in my last video, but long story short, when I first started using Upwork, like I said, it took me 15 days to land my first client. I closed them for $600 per month on a three month minimum, that was $1,800. Then I upsold them a $500 like funnel, which I literally just built out on ClickFunnels, literally used their template, changed everything around. I made $2,300 back um, from that particular client. That client literally paid for 40, I think it was like 42 weeks worth of connects on Upwork. So all you need to do is get one client and your connects are paid for, by the way. Anywho, if we actually work out the actual, um, um, net profit here, we're actually looking at around 
1,136. So we, we're actually making two grand, 136 more. Not only that though, but here's, the, here's how it gets, this is where it starts exponentially increasing. Mike closes one client, right? If, excuse me, if Mike loses one client, he's still gonna be making $2,800 per month, right? Because he's got five clients, he loses one. He's at 35, 35, uh, $3,500 per month, if he loses one, that's $700 he's lost per month. So it's taking him down to 2, 2, 2.8K a month. If Bob loses one client, he's back at zero. He's back at zero. The reason for that is because he's only got one client paying him the actual 2,500. So if he loses that, he loses everything. So Mike is actually diversifies his risk over multiple, multiple clients. It's almost like, you know, like when you've got a high paying job and you lose that job and the job's gone. Well, see this as like almost having like lots of different jobs, lots of different jobs, but they're kind of small ticket, but it adds up over time and it diversifies your risk, if you will. Don't put all your eggs in one basket is what I would say. That, that, that's probably the perfect, perfect way of saying that. Now, by the time Mike actually reaches 56 days in, um, because but again, Bob's gonna take 56 days in total just to do 40 days of outreach. He would have, Mike himself would have actually done a 1,120 outreach. So in total, he could have closed technically seven clients at seven seven hundred dollars revenue each, which means he's gonna go from zero to 4.9K in literally, um, what was that, 56 days. 56 days, that's like a, what's that? What's that, that's like two, just under two months. And the funny thing is, I've actually had a student go from zero to 5.4K in a single month. So this is not just, I'm not just pulling this out of my ass. The students that are doing even better than Bob, uh, excuse me, Mike, in this particular situation. Minus outsourcing costs and connects, of course, obviously minus, minus those costs. Now let's actually go, go and actually start breaking this down, right? This is where it starts getting really, really good. This is when it actually starts compounding on itself, right? Mike then decides to kind of like in, impl implement the second half of the hybrid system, which is going outside of Upwork now. So as you can see, Bob's only at one client, Mike's at five clients. Well, technically it could be at seven clients in the 56 days, in the same 56 days. If you both give them 56 days, <laughs> friggin' uh, Bob's only gonna get one client, Mike's on seven clients. Literally, you, you, you can't make this up. It's only maths, this is maths. Literally maps. In fact, I've had students do even better than this. So long story short, Mike then takes the cash flow, right? That he's making. So let's say he's at, uh, um, what did I say? He's at four, he's at four, four, four point nine K, right? And he hires two virtual assistants at $200 per month each to do outreach for him. He's doing 40 outreach. He's, he's got two virtual assistants. One virtual assistant's doing 40 outreach. Another's doing 40 outreach. He's now doing 80 outreach per day. Whilst Bob is still chugging along doing 25 outreach per day by himself. Now, it's gonna take Bob another 40 days to land his second client. So Bob's still, Bob's, Bob will be 96 days in to his journey and he's only closed two clients. Whereas Mike, right, will start landing clients outside of Upwork every about 13 days. Because if you actually do the maths, if you take the, um, let's say it takes you, like, like I said in this, it both, it both takes them a thousand emails to land one client. If Mike is sending 80 emails per day, it's gonna take him 13 days or something like that. Let's actually do the math real quick. Let's pull up the calculator. So we've got 1,000 emails to land one client. And if Bob, or excuse me, Mike, is actually doing 80 outreach per day, it's actually 12, we'll call it, it's 12.5 days, but we'll call it 13. So every 13 days, Mike will actually land a client. Again, it's the same script, same level of personalization, same niche, same offer, same same everything. Now, um, don't forget as well, by the way, this, this is actually the kicker. This is, the, this is how it exponentially increases. Whilst Mike has his outreach automated by two virtual assistants doing 80 outreach a day, Mike himself is still doing his 60 minutes a day on Upwork to land him small ticket clients. So he's literally landing clients outside of Upwork and now he's landing clients on Upwork. So he's, he's, you know, he's, he's, still, he's still continuing his Upwork stuff and landing clients every, what was it again? Every every couple of days, I think it works out to be like eight days or something like that. Works out like one client every eight days and then one client every 13 days outside of Upwork. So by day 80, let's give them 80 actual days, right? Mike will be at 10 small clients from Upwork and plus two bigger clients from outside of Upwork, whereas Bob will only be on two clients. Who do you really think is, not only that, but who do you think is gonna get the most sales experience in? Who's gonna be the better agency owner? Who's gonna be more financially stable? Who's gonna be in less risk? It's got obviously going to be Mike. And this, my people, is literally the hybrid. I don't even know, I could, I don't, I'm not even spelling right. This is how excited I am. This is literally what I've been developing in this frigging room right here where you see me, in this, in this exact room right here. This is the hybrid system. It's an exponential way to actually scale your agency from zero to 10K per month. It literally took me 24 days out of a 90 day challenge to actually do this shit. 
right here that I'm showing you. So if you guys can understand this, this is why it works. You use cash flow, keep your Upwork stuff running because it's warmer traffic source, you get clients quite, quite easily on there, even though they're small ticket, but then that cash flow works wonders in the background because you can actually then hire virtual assistants to do 50 outreach a day for you each, 40 outreach a day for you each, 25 outreach a day for you each. And we know if you've got a good script and you're doing the same level of personalization as everybody else, and you actually and you, and, and you know it's gonna take you a thousand emails to land, land a client, well you know the more outreach you do and the sooner you do that, the quicker you're gonna scale, literally. This is what I'm trying to say guys, this is the difference between all the other gurus teachings, because everybody just teaches you out to go out there and start doing cold outreach. Everybody. Think about it logically, think about it smartly. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this, hope you can see see how powerful this is. This is exactly why a transmutation exists. It does teach you all this sort of stuff, so definitely go and enroll in that. I'm tired of plugging it now, so obviously it genuinely works. Look at the numbers, numbers don't lie guys. So long story short guys, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget that a transmutation is going up I don't even know when you guys are going to see this video, so it will be going it will be going up by two hundred dollars on the twenty eighth of June two thousand twenty two. So and that will obviously be at like um, at like eleven fifty nine p.m. or something like that UK time by the way. So make sure you obviously um, enroll into that if you want to save yourself two hundred dollars, which will go towards your connects anyway. You can save you two. But long story short, guys, hopefully you get the picture. Hopefully you can see this. And again, um, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Peace.